Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the expert interview training company, howtobecome.com. And in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass your cloud computing job interview. So if you have an interview coming up for any cloud computing job role worldwide, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I promise to help you to stand out and succeed. To achieve that goal, I'll start off by giving you a list of cloud computing interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I'll then provide you with example high scoring answers to those questions to ensure you succeed at the first attempt. And for each top scoring answer I give you, you will see I provide two parts. The first part where I answer the technical part of the question and the second part of my answer will focus on my experience. I'll show you exactly what I mean and what you need to do and how you can score highly in this tutorial, so stay tuned. Plus, I'll also make sure to give you some essential tips for passing your cloud computing interview before finally telling you how you can instantly download these slides plus 25 great answers to cloud computing interview questions in a PDF guide. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your interview by giving you brilliant answers to the toughest cloud computing interview questions. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because that tells me you find these tutorials useful. Oh, and don't forget to let me know the exact name of the job role you're applying for so I can get back to you with even more tailored interview tips and advice. Okay, let's take a look at that first cloud computing interview question, which I recommend you prepare for. Explain the difference between horizontal and vertical scaling. When would you choose horizontal scaling over vertical scaling in a cloud environment? Now this question is being asked because it tests your understanding of cloud architecture and scalability. It assesses your ability to optimize system performance under different scenarios. So in your answer, make sure you emphasize practical scenarios where each scaling method applies, highlighting decision-making and performance impact. Mention real-world examples to showcase your experience. So take a look exactly how I do that in my brilliant top scoring answer to help you. Explain the difference between horizontal and vertical scaling. When would you choose horizontal scaling over vertical scaling in a cloud environment? Horizontal scaling adds more servers to distribute the load, improving redundancy and fault tolerance, making it ideal for handling unpredictable traffic spikes or distributed workloads. Vertical scaling increases the power of a single machine, boosting performance, but facing scalability limits as hardware upgrades are finite. For example, in my last role, we chose horizontal scaling for our microservices-based architecture to ensure high availability during product launches, which improved our system's load capacity by 25% and reduced downtime risk. This decision also reduced infrastructure cost over time due to better resource distribution. Okay, the next question is this. What are some key factors to consider when deciding between a multi-cloud and hybrid cloud strategy? This question is being asked to evaluate a candidate's knowledge of cloud strategies, considering flexibility, cost, security, and compliance. Therefore, in your answer, focus on use cases, mentioning key factors like data sovereignty and workload portability, and back up your answer with specific examples that show strategic decision-making and measurable results. Here is my brilliant top scoring answer to help you. What are some key factors to consider when deciding between a multi-cloud and hybrid cloud strategy? When choosing between multi-cloud and hybrid cloud, consider workload flexibility, data sovereignty, compliance, and vendor lock-in. Multi-cloud optimizes performance and cost by leveraging multiple providers, but adds complexity. Hybrid cloud balances scalability with strict control over sensitive data. Security, integration challenges, and long-term scalability are also critical. For example, in my previous role, we implemented a hybrid strategy to meet GDPR requirements while scaling workloads globally, reducing costs by 20% and ensuring compliance across regions. Okay, don't go anywhere as I still have plenty more cloud computing based interview questions and answers to give you in this video. But when you're ready, and only if you want to, you can click that link in the top right hand corner or in the pinned comment below the video. It will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download my top 25 cloud computing interview questions and answers, 
for all job roles to give you the edge in your interview. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Describe a scenario where you would prioritize using infrastructure as a service over platform as a service and why? Now, this is a great question and it's being asked to test understanding of different service models and their applications, revealing how much control you are comfortable managing. So in your answer, provide an example where full infrastructure control is critical, explaining the need for flexibility in managing custom applications or configurations. Mention security or performance advantages in your answer. Let's take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer to help you. Describe a scenario where you would prioritize using infrastructure as a service over platform as a service and why. Infrastructure as a service is ideal when you need full control over your infrastructure, such as when managing custom applications or needing to configure and manage servers, storage and networking. Infrastructure as a service offers flexibility but requires more maintenance while platform as a service abstracts these elements, providing a pre-configured platform for developers. For example, in a previous project, we prioritized infrastructure as a service for a high performance data analytics application where we needed control over the server configuration and security settings. This allowed us to tailor the infrastructure to handle large scale data processing efficiently. Here's the next question. Can you give an example of a situation where cloud elasticity is essential and explain how you would implement it? Now, this question is being asked to assess knowledge of resource management and cost efficiency in cloud environments, especially in dynamic workloads. So my top tip here is to demonstrate the business benefits of elasticity by explaining how it improves performance and saves costs. Use a specific example to show how you implemented auto scaling or similar features effectively. Here is a great top scoring answer to help you. Can you give an example of a situation where cloud elasticity is essential and explain how you would implement it? Cloud elasticity is essential when dealing with fluctuating workloads that can spike unpredictably, such as during seasonal sales, event driven traffic or variable user demand. Elasticity allows resources to automatically scale up or down to meet demand, optimizing performance and cost. For example, during a marketing campaign in a previous role, we leveraged cloud elasticity to handle a surge in web traffic. We implemented auto scaling, which adjusted server capacity in real time, ensuring smooth performance while keeping costs low by only paying for the required resources. Now, in preparation for your cloud computing based interview, I also recommend you prepare answers to the following questions. Why do you want to work in cloud computing? What experience do you have which is relevant to this cloud computing role? Why should we hire you? What is your approach to troubleshooting and resolving issues in a cloud environment? Can you explain the importance of compliance and regulatory requirements in cloud computing? Can you tell me about a mistake you made at a previous job? How to ensure cloud security in a multi-cloud environment? What is your experience with cloud migration? Can you describe a specific project? Can you explain the differences between infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service? What is the role of APIs in cloud services? Can you tell me about a time you dealt with an unhappy client? So they are just some of the questions that you should be preparing for. But if you want to get the full list of all 25 cloud computing interview questions, and if you want to accelerate your learning even further to pass your interview at the first attempt, click that link right now in the top right hand corner of the video or in the pinned comment below the video for two reasons. The first reason is it will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com. We can get all of these answers we just covered, plus a total of 25 brilliant responses to cloud computing interview questions. And secondly, the next reason is I've given you plenty more cloud computing specific interview advice on that page. There's plenty of tips and advice on that page. It's a brilliant resource guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your interview and also more importantly, put you ahead of the competition. Make sure you check out that link. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like these. And if you have any questions regarding any specific job role, do let me know in the comment section below. 
where I'll get back to you with even more interview tips and advice. And finally, don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your interview. Have a brilliant day.